So today we're getting the farthest look into our very ends of our galaxy. These pictures are, are really stunning. The first time humans have ever seen this far into our universe. News for Jack's Weather Authority meteorologist Mark Collins explains precisely what we're looking at. Today, NASA sent back some amazing pictures from the Webb Space Telescope, including this one here, which was shown to President Biden yesterday. But this is a deep field image. Basically, it represents a big entire view going back millions and millions of years so that some of these red galaxies that you can see here, those are uh, light pictures coming to us from about 13.1 billion years ago. And this is the farthest ever that we've had infrared imagery coming from a space telescope. This is pretty remarkable. This is definitely the hallmark here. This is called the Carina Nebula. It's about 7,600 light years away. And this space telescope is so powerful that it can cut through dust in the heavens and it can actually see a nebula that hasn't been discovered before. So this is actually a nursery for new stars forming and they get so hot when they're brand new and they're forming that it forms these gases of plasma and that's what the red is here uh, that the sat that the uh, telescope can see. Also this is another picture that was uh, unveiled today and this is actually what happens when stars die. They explode and they become these red dwarfs. And here you can see the gases, the plasma uh, emanating out from the dying star. The blue in this color is the ionized gas and the red is the dust. And you can see on that image there on the right, a binary star. If you look closely, you can see the two stars there in this picture that is about 2,000 light years away. And going out even much far further, about 290 million light years, you're actually looking farther back in time. And back when the uh, universe was starting to form, there were many of these galaxies that were very clustered together and they pulled on each other. And here you can see a quintet. It's called Stephen's Quintet. And there are uh, four of these galaxies here kind of pulling on each other. There's one there, there, and then two there. And then this fifth galaxy is not part of this, this tug of war. But these galaxies are colliding together and a black hole is at the northern edge of this image. Why can't you see it? Because it's a black hole. It's sucking in all the mass and even the light can't escape. But when you look at these photographs, it is impressive to see how this light is hitting that lens of that space telescope and revealing these amazing uh, pictures that will give us answers about our cosmos.